So, second, have you yeah. heard about the latest piece of stupidity that Joe Biden's gotten up to? Maybe, maybe not. He does so much stupid shit, I don't know what the latest is, so, like, let me know. Well, US President Joe Biden withdraws Donald Trump-era attempt to ban TikTok WeChat. TikTok Gee, that's what? Um, TikTok and WeChat. So TikTok, um, you're obviously familiar with, and WeChat is yeah. one of the many Chinese social medias. <coughs> so that sounds like something a communist spot I would do. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Excuse me, I'm just ch coughing to death. Yeah, so yeah, he's rolled back Trump's moves to ban TikTok and WeChat for reasons? God knows why. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, hmm. <laughs> well, because TikTok is apparent, like, I think TikTok is definitely a tool against against the Republicans. Like, I have a Democrat friend who was talking about how a bunch of TikTok witches were trying to curse Donald Trump and shit. <laughs> oh, that was good times. <laughs> but yeah. like, also, like how they would like organize shit. They're sort of similar to the K-pop community in this way that they'll like organize to completely fuck like anything right wing. So on Twitter, they'll get together and be like, "Oh, right wingers have a hashtag that's trending and getting noticed, and people don't like the left. Let's like use the hashtag and then like post completely random, unrelated shit and have people upvote it." So like. The actual shit relating to the trending thing gets completely drowned out. Or like some shit like, oh, there's this right wing event that's going to be sold out anyways. So we're not giving them any more money than they would have gotten. Let's just buy all the tickets so like actual people can't show up and hear them. Yeah. It's, so fucking disgusting. yeah, it's not to mention the massive frigging national security risks. Like, is it going to try and roll back the ban on having it in the military, too? Oh, man. Who knows? That is kind of a base thing, too, that, like, the military apparently is like, yeah, no, we're not, like, flying pride flags at our bases or something. And it's like, that is the appropriate thing. That's not the point of the military to get political, right? Like, within a country, the point of the military is that the point of it is that it is the country standing against the rest of the world. There has to be, like, the only political attitude allowed within the military is, like, being pro your country against everything else. Well, that's it. Like, it's, the military purely exists to employ the force of a nation against outside <laughs> threats. Exactly. Like a, like, that is the ideal purpose. for the military. I that is the that is the functional purpose of the military. So that it is uh, that is an ordinate attitude. Well, it's supposed um, to be anyway. Yeah. It also keeps also takes a uh, a big chunk of your male unuseful population and gives them something to do. Well, in America, that's true. But in a in a well, in, a, well, not a, in Australia, to get into the military, you basically need to be a university graduate, which yeah. is interesting. Well, I mean more sort of historically. Oh, yes, historically. Well, I'm in, I'm in favour of expanding the military because, yeah, maybe we want to have more than 20,000 troops when China comes knocking? Maybe? Well, I mean, I, I, I'd be in favour sure of that. Uh... Wouldn't it be so much better to just bend over backwards like John Cena to Xi Jinping? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like the Singaporean model. Well, is, is that where everyone's a soldier? No, in Singapore, everyone does all, all the, well, at least all the men currently do two years national service. Oh, yes. But na but but national service isn't just the so so it's obviously it's army, navy, air force, but then it's also police, ambulance, fire service, coast guard. There might be one more. I don't remember. Uh, are you saying but, that from the men in Singapore, service guarantees citizenship? Yeah, well, they don't have any choice, really. But, uh, well, I'm literally uh, typing a pro Heinlein it, thing in the chat right now. But what it also does is generate a huge amount of discipline. Yes, and a sense of cultural identity within your country. And yeah. that it is your country. Yes. And that you have some uh, 
you know. Uh, well, well, it is quite literally ownership part of, of and... it is quite literally the reason that they implemented the service guarantee citizenship thing. If you have served yeah. your country, you feel ownership towards your decisions. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. But you, but you, you, you know, you, you look at the, um, you know, you, you look at the crime rates and things in Singapore, they're zero, essentially. Yeah, and probably a large part of it is due to the cultural attitude of respect and things. Well, it's, it's, it's not just that. They also punish crime, which is, a, I know, quite, a, quite an odd idea. Yeah, that's but a, what they do. I, what what's they, what this they do punish is they crime concept thing? Yeah. Well, the, 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 what they do is they take the punishments that are written down in the books and they apply them 